Hello everybody and this is well what was Baron Joan now me Susanna and today I'm just going to give you a quick um, life update because I'm not going to bore you to tears too much because there isn't really much to show you in fact there's nothing to show you um, well actually I'll tell a lie there is actually something to show you um, basically um, I haven't spoken to anybody in ages and given any up any videos or anything like that um, because those of you who've been following me, my channel know that um, I have to move in fact I have to move by the end of this month so it's only what two and a half weeks away and um, quite frankly it's been a bit of a fiasco and it's taken its toll on me both mentally and physically and um, I've struggled at times with the whole process of it all. Um, so that's why you haven't really heard anything from me from for the last, um, I don't know, I can't remember when the last video was. Um, it was a few weeks ago, I think, was, a, was the last video. Um, or maybe even maybe even longer. Because um, basically, um, when I was originally told I had to move, it was I had two and a half months notice which on the face of it was plenty of notice but unfortunately um, various people and various um, estate agents and things have let me down so every time I thought I'd got somewhere I it ended up falling through and it it was it was very traumatic quite frankly um, I thought I had somewhere to live and then I stopped looking and then it fell through and then I had to look again, and then I found somewhere again, and then again I stopped looking, and then that fell through. And now it looks like I found somewhere, and that, for a short period, looked like that was going to fall through as well, but now that seems like it's on the cards. So I'm definitely moving. Well, I definitely have to move anyway. There's no there's no ifs, buts, or maybes about it. Um, I have to move. The question is where to. And um, so I've now found somewhere to live. Um, all being well, I'll be moving at the end of the month, and um, it's it's like I said, it's it's taken its toll on me. It's been very difficult for me. Um, so that's why I haven't really posted anything up, and I'm really sorry for not replying to anybody because there's so many people who've been so sweet and have left messages and saying, oh, "I hope you're really well. I hope you've moved." And hope you've, that your move's gone well. Um, the fact is, I'm still living in Alton, and so, like I said, I've got a few more weeks here. So this is like the final sort of stages of packing and preparation before I actually move. Um, where am I moving to? Well, I'll be moving just um, s slightly north from here, um, the other side of Basingstoke. Um, I currently live work in Basingstoke, which is what the whole deal was about. Um, my mind sort of said that I was whilst I still had a job it was very important to keep hold of that job and um, so therefore I did everything I could to try and stay within um, a distance in which I could get to work so at least I still had the job even if I didn't really have a suitable home now I'm moving to a place called Sherfield on Loddon which is just north of Basingstoke um, so I'm leaving Alton um, I don't really want to, um, but the big plan is to come back. Um, that's the big plan. I'm on the housing register and everything like that, so I'm hoping at some point um, I might win the lottery in terms of the housing lottery. Maybe my name might come up and they'll have a property for me to move into down this neck of the woods so I can come back to Alton. Um, so that's the bigger picture in terms of what to do, what, what's happening in my life for those of you who are, who are interested in that side of things and the property I'm moving to is a bit more open plan uh, than what this property is and I'm hoping to have a layout built but I'm not entirely certain that's going to happen um, there are two trains of thought going through my mind um, one of which is um, I'd at least like to set up a basic oval so I could run the trains that I do have so they're just not sitting in storage so I can at least um, run them 
um, even if there isn't a layout because um, one train of thought is to possibly, because um, I want to go DCC and maybe just slowly but surely start chipping them up what I have um, and obviously that's going to take resources in terms of financial resources so whether I do that and also I want to get a controller and then there's a few other bits and pieces that I'd like to get that's kind of option A really, That I, well I suppose that's more like option B um, but like I said when I dismantled Beringer and Districts that the layout that I was going to build next was not going to be anywhere near as involved as Beringer and Districts was in terms of its size. I mean, although it wasn't a circuit, obviously, um, you know, it sort of went round the flat and um, and it won't be doing that in the new place if I build anything. Um, it's going to be more like an end, another end-to-end -end layout but a much sort of shorter version and it'll probably be maybe anything between 8 to 12 feet um, I'm looking at possibly m making a exhibition layout um, I know I can do it I know my skills are there that I can produce a good enough quality um, layout that I could take to an exhibition um, so that is another train of thought that I'm thinking of doing um, I would love a circular layout but that might have to wait until I move into my home, my more permanent home, um, proper. So in the meantime, I might be just, I do have a railway need and I need my railway fix. So I have to be doing something or I have to do, I have to be building something. Now, speaking of exhibitions, I did go to an exhibition today. I went to my local exhibition in Alton. Sorry. Naughty. Um, all the shot, I should say. And it, it's a very good exhibition, actually. It's not the biggest exhibition in the world, but it's very good. Every year I go, and like I said, it's not the biggest exhibition, but it's always a very good one. And um, I've managed to... There's a lot of people there, I know, just through the model railway scene in the south. So, um, and also through my, my model railway group. And through that, I've... I'm actually going to be helping out on an exhibition layout in Southampton. So that will be really, really cool. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, because one of the modellers um, is from the Alton Model Railway Group. And um, he took over um, a layout from the late Dennis Stevens. And um, he was the um, gentleman and friend that I bought the 257s. Uh, I put up a video about it some time ago when he sadly passed away. And he took that, that layout on and he's basically um, refurbished it, given it a makeover and it's ready to go back onto the exhibition scene and it will be making its first outing in Southampton on the 18th and 19th of November. As it so happens, um, my birthday is actually November the 20th so it'll be a nice way to sort of spend my birthday weekend um, to go down to Southampton and I'm going to be off all that week. So I'm going to go down there for on, on the Sunday to help out on the Sunday um, to help him run his help him run the, the Sandy Lane layout. So that's cool. Also I got chatting to a number of people at the exhibition um, about various aspects of digital. Because uh, I'm still... I'm still basically just confirming my um, what control I want to buy DCC wise. So I've been it's been oon and already in my head for some time, and I'm just confirming what I, I more or less know already. Um, so I will be um, hopefully be able to purchase um, a new DCC controller this side of Christmas. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, and there were some really really lovely layouts. Um, down there and another reason for really wanting to go down there was um, although the layouts weren't necessarily my style in terms of how I do a layout in terms of I mainly deal with diesels and stuff there was mainly steam layouts um, but in saying that I'm always happy to appreciate anyone's work any layout that's at any exhibition regardless of whether it's steam or diesel because I appreciate the work and the time and the effort that people put into their layouts regardless of what the era is 
and um, and I can also appreciate a good steam loco when I see one, even though I might not be a steam buff. But whilst I was there, I picked up. Let me just quickly show you what I picked up. In fact, I'll do it this way around. So I'm trying to hold, try and do things. Um, so today I picked up a Motorrail car flat by Oxford Rail, and um, I've got I picked up two. Um, and I got them at a better price than than I expected actually, uh, because at the moment they're retailing. I think the retail price is about twenty nine ninety nine, if I'm not wrong. Um, I've definitely seen them on eBay for twenty nine ninety nine, and then you got to pay postage and packaging and all the rest of it. Um, the price on the box says it's twenty six ninety five, but actually I didn't actually pay that. I actually paid twenty three ninety five um, per car flat, which I thought was very reasonable. And better still, it was from Kerno Models, and Kerno Models have always got a bit of a reputation for being uh, more expensive than other places. Um, but it was a fantastic deal, and um, so for twenty three ninety five for that, I picked up a couple. Um, and that was pretty much all that I could really spend, really, because um, obviously money is still a bit on the tight, tight side, trying to get everything sorted out for my move. But um, they are quite popular, and I did want to get these when they were announced. Um, and because of my move, um, a lot of my railway purchases have either been shelved or cancelled or delayed because of it. So at some point I'm hoping to make some inroads. Um, in some ways, Batman have helped me because I had ordered, pre-ordered, I should say, the Evening Star um, GBRF Class 66, but I got notified by Hattons that that's now been delayed. It was supposed to be in January, but now I think it's been delayed to March, April at time, I think, so that will help me. Um, also, I pre-ordered a Batman Class 47 Network Southeast through Kerno Models. Um, and I believe that's supposed to be in January and I think that's still on for January but I'm not entirely certain um, so that's pretty much about it really it's um, like I said it has been tough going these last few months and it has been very very difficult for me um, personally um, because I, I don't think I'm the strongest of people um, so it's been it's taken its toll on me, but at least um, I now have a home to go to, a new home, even if, albeit not a, a permanent home. Um, but at least I have somewhere to go and it's closer to work, so it should work out well. And so hopefully I should be able to keep some railway projects going and put up some videos. The other thing is, um, by moving to Basingstoke, I'll probably put up some more railway videos because um, the railway video I put up between Alton and London, um, people seem to enjoy that. So I might be doing some more of those. And from Basingstoke um, Station, it's on the main line, so there are more options to get to London. So I can either get to London still on the main line, the southwestern main line, uh, from Basingstoke down to London, Waterloo, or I can go via the Great Western route and basically um, catch a shuttle to Reading and then catch a train from Reading to London Paddington. So that might be some more videos to sort of put up um, to whet the appetite. And also, um, there's also going to be, I've got a video here um, to put up with my bus driving days back in London. And I did a, I did used to do the route called the 388. And that used to run from Hackney Wick to Blackfriars at the time. And there's also some cab ride footage of that which will be going up. But I have had some issues with my computer software um, which have delayed um, videos going up. Also, I've only just got my phone back, um, which is another reason for, for videos being delayed. Um, because um, I'm currently filming from my phone. Um, but my phone started bleeding on one corner and started messing up the screen. So again, that had to be sent back. So that's another reason for it being delayed. Anyway, um, thank you for your patience and all your comments and your goodwill messages. And once I've moved, 
um, there'll probably be a new video anyway and it'll be a little while before anything happens or I decide what's going to happen with the layout so please be bear with me but in the meantime there will probably be some sort of railway footage even if it's me out and about for those that are interested and also um, my in-cab bus video um, which is a nighttime drive by the way um, so the video quality isn't necessarily the best because it was filmed many many years ago um, I think it's probably filmed in about 2008 or something like that, 2007, 2008, something like that. So um, look out for those videos as and when they turn up. And um, so just to let you know, just by getting this, it's just the railway isn't dead, it's just delayed. And um, I'm looking forward to having a new layout built. And, um, and because it's going to be a lot smaller, hopefully it'll be a lot quicker to put together. Um, knowing my speeds of working hopefully won't take too long to put together and also I'm looking forward to going to Southampton to help out at the exhibition and do some exhibition um, running um, it was, it's always enjoyable to do um, it's been a while since I last helped out in an exhibition and it's quite nice to actually air a layout in public and um, it's nice to have the experience to do it which is one of the reasons why I want to build a more manageable layout so I can possibly put it into the back of the car and take it to a layout, uh, to, sorry, to an exhibition and exhibit it for others to enjoy as well as for me to enjoy. So take care. And by the way, if this does come to fruition and my layout does make it to an exhibition circuit, you, you guys will be the first to know. And if I need help running it and you guys are up for it, then, and you're local to where I'm exhibiting, then you're more than help, welcome to help me run the layout to so um take care and i will speak to you all soon and thank you for your patience once again in your comments and um i will speak to you all very very soon indeed bye for now